Hello, Lilith. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And make sure you join the chatterbox by clicking the link in the description bar or the join button next to the subscribe button will take you to the chatterbox. And you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join the chatterbox and it is a dollar and 99 cents to join. Today I'm going to get Phoebe in some summer wear. I prefer her in outfits like what she has on which is actually a Paris um I guess you could say a pajama set or whatever, but it's just for me. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wear his regular outfit. But um, it was a gift a couple years ago um, from Patricia Reborn Babies. I think, I want to say she bought it for Lizzie. But anyway, I never get rid of my gifts like that. Um, so... Anyway, so Phoebe is the Willow Awake sculpt, um, sculpted by Claire Teller and poured by Claire Teller Dolls and she is painted by myself and I am, like I said, just want to get her changed, oh my gosh, like the lighting is not that great but it's, it's okay. I guess we'll, we'll we'll make it work. So, all right. Like I said, I really normally prefer her in the um, prefer her in more of the long sleeve. You know, well, I ain't gonna say long sleeve, but just you know, uh, sleeper-like outfits because she's just cuddly like that. Um, I just love holding her like that. So, like I said, she is probably like baby number seven that I painted in silicone. So, you know, although she's perfect for me, I am still in a learning phase. I was experimenting with color and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> my hair is a mess now. <laughs> Silicone is so rewarding when um, when you finish, you know, even if it's not perfect, because it just just feels really nice. Now she's softer than the boys, so she. I really have to pay attention how I move her around so that she doesn't fall in unnatural poses. Um, but to be honest, <laughs> when it comes to wanting to hold a baby, she is a go-to. Like she is like the most cuddleless baby in my nursery. And I just I really like she She really, like, I really have to control, control her. Like, tasty aunties, I am. Wait, wait, sorry. Like, everything on her will wrinkle. Like, everything, everything. Child. Like, all this is wrinkled. Like, right now. Because she is... I am a mush mush baby. I am so soft and mama loves it. I love it. I don't know what people be talking about. Oh, I'm going to take that socks off. I don't know what they be talking about, about not liking the soft, but I love soft silicone. And I will, oh, this is, she has, she still has a lot of clothes that she has not worn yet. But I will show you guys her on. <laughs> Look at her little legs just went crisscross. I have I do have a a little pillow thingy here because I didn't want her to be just laying just flat. So I do have that up under there. But 
I mean, she is good and soft. Like, she can even pose even more so than the boys because she is a bit softer. So, I love that. I know that I when I was watching Miss Patricia video and she was like, wow, the, the awake babies are a little bit softer than the the sleep ones. And of course, you know, the prototype, the first one, sometimes be a little different than the rest as the, they go on. And then sometimes, you know, it don't matter. Like a pour might come out a little bit softer than others or something like that. But as you guys can see, she is just pose puka that is my pose puka wuka like her like she is amazing i love it <laughs> i love it. i love her like so much so like i seriously could have like 10 of these of the same sculpt um as i showed before she, you know she doesn't have a drinking wet and she does bend. Oh, come on, mama. Sorry. She does not have a drinking wet. I didn't find it to be necessary as the boys have drinking wet and I don't even use it. Um, really like that. I was using it for, you know, role play for videos and stuff, but since you can't really show it, on video anymore it's kind of like why even bother with doing it sometime but it does feel cool when they're wet in their diaper and it's warm let me see what you guys see oh that's a cute pose thank her look at <laughs> she's so cute <laughs> oh Phoebe yes girl give them give them baby give them life give them life boo Give them life, yas, honey, yas. <laughs> My baby be like, mama. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, let's say, I can, well, let me show her really quick. I'll show, like her, she flex, like her, her, her flexibility is beyond measures and like her little legs because she's so soft her legs like just close down I love that oh my gosh like she she literally make me remember what it's like to own one of Claire premium dolls oh my god if you think the kids feel nice you ain't felt nothing yet until you feel the premium dolls although I, I will say I'll be honest. I hope Claire don't hate me for it. But I will be honest. I do tend to kind of like the kit silicone just as much as I do the actual doll silicone. But, you know, she forever changing. So the last one that I felt will probably not be her latest formula. <laughs> She'll probably come up with something that feels more fabulous because the kits didn't always feel like this either. And she's constantly changing even with her kit pores on her on her sculpts. Oh baby, you're so treat. But let me get you dressed. Let me get you dressed. Now I could put her on sandals, but like I told you guys, I like long socks. I'm a weirdy. And my my daughter was cracking me up because um with my grandbaby, um her dad was getting her dressed and she was like mama he likes to put her on long socks I had bought some socks and I think actually um Kay's and mom had sent some socks and those were the socks that she had actually put on and he pulled them all the way up he didn't want to you know flip them down and my daughter was like I don't know why he likes to put those socks flipped up and I was like girl that's what I like so I thought it was so cute but um yeah, so I like, I'm sorry, Phoebe. I like putting the socks on. And although I love, I love looking at her little feet. I think, 
I think I love the way that her feet turned out as far as the painting go and I, I love the sculpting too but I actually um I actually like socks and the socks don't really match completely but these are the two colors that she's going to be wearing today um because I said so you know the good thing too about um well I'm not gonna go in I said that before in video before you know sometimes when you make videos like I forget because I delete a lot of stuff and a lot of videos I never post so I forget what I've been said and then sometimes you know you're just thinking it and because I don't really make up stuff or script stuff I say stuff over and over again but I was gonna say I guess I'll go ahead and say it again but I absolutely love being able that, you know, if I see something that needs to be touched up or something goes wrong with with my babies that I've painted, that I can I I can go in and, and try to do stuff. Now I, I'll be honest, I don't know how to fix like a lot of stuff. But um you know when you painting because I've been painting and I never took a, a you know like a class or anything like that so I don't have any technical support so to speak or anything like that I've made some mistakes along the way and I had to try to figure it out on my own and because I had to figure it out on my own I actually did learn some stuff I was gonna put her on these instead of I don't want to put her on white I'm gonna put her on some green but I did learn, you know, I, d I did learn how to do some things and undo some, do some things because of, you know, making mistakes and trying to figure it out on my own. So, you know, that's the, the beauty of, you know, learning to paint, um, you know, on your own and, and, you know, making mistakes, you actually get to learn from those mistakes too. So, you know, I was so frustrated about the mistakes, mainly with her too. When I, when I was, I thought I had messed her up at one point and I was freaking out and, you know, this kind of money, I'm like, no, I, I got to fix this. So when I figure it out, it's like, okay, so if this happened again, I know. I know that this this is what you have to do. Her hair really don't even need a brush. You can just kind of just rub it down. But um and it's funny because although I could I painted, I felt like I did a good job on painting Finn eyebrows. I did a really good job on his eyebrows. I was really proud of myself with his eyebrows. When I went to try to paint her eyebrows, I just struggled and so I chose for them to be rooted so that you know I did the shadowing or whatever and then root them eyebrows is really hard to do in silicone they are already hard and reborn but they're even harder in silicone but the good thing about it is I think I'll figure out how to root the eyebrows and all that great jazz myself um for the future because i it does add realism and i do like i actually like it a lot more than i thought i would um i've had about two two or three silicone babies that had rooted eyebrows before but it's been a while all right mama so you are all set. She got her new pacifier. Oh, let me show you guys that real quick. She has her new pacifier that has her name. Probably the only baby that I will ever do this for and the only baby that I have ever did this before. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Phoebe and then the clip says Phoebe. So she, got, she does have that. Um, I'm not gonna give her this one. And she has this, 
this one and she actually have I think her eye color is almost the same color as my actual eye color so she has light brown eyes in person um, not a not a cat eye or a hazel eye or anything like that they're just a light brown um, honey honey nut type color saying I'm pecan tan like my mama or some people will be like paper paper bag brown <laughs> we got all these different references you know like black people are never a color we're never really like black or you know we're well I guess that is a color but a lot of times we're like caramel um milkshake brown chocolate it's not like you're you're not you know it's never just like black or brown it's usually we got some kind of saying to it you know it's got some you know some flavor we got flavor baby vanilla you know but then caucasian babies also they they can be a milky white um strawberry a strawberry red well that's my, my colors i'm like a tan white like i'll be coming up with all kinds of, you know you have all kinds of stuff but at the end of the day they all are beautiful in their own rights and this work is not easy so i definitely am happy to be her mommy her mommy and i think she is a sweetie pie there we go let's see we gotta look closer yes honey give them give them life oh my gosh why is my videos being so long lately okay i'm out of here see you guys later bye